Still ahead, since the beginning of medical science, surgery has required cutting into the skin. This laser could change everything. And you can basically use that as a laser scalpel. The possibility of surgery without cutting. We'll tell you about it after the break. We move on here tonight at 10 with Health Smart. Imagine going into surgery and coming home with no scars, no cuts to heal. Researchers at Caltech think they've stumbled onto a way to radically change medicine. They fired up the laser to show Dave Malkoff how it could work. Since the very early days of surgery, right into modern operating rooms, one thing has never changed. You would have to definitely uh, cut through the skin. Uh, you have to cut the skin if you want to fix what's inside. It's only in the Star Trek future where Dr. McCoy can heal from the outside in without spilling a drop of blood. What are you doing? Now put away your butcher knives and let me save this patient before it's too late. Sure, I'm uh, Professor Chang Hui Young. Today, this Caltech professor and his student... This is a piece of chicken tissue. Ying Min Wayne and Benjamin Judkowitz are working on inventing surgery without cutting. They start with a powerful laser that could easily cut through the skin. And you can basically use that as a laser scalpel. And doctors have used lasers for years, but this team wanted to do the cutting inside the body, like Bones does. Dealing with medievalism here. Turns out their inspiration came from an unusual place. Perfect boom. Digital cameras and uh, digital projectors technologies. Those two things are actually vital for what uh, we're doing here. As cameras and projectors get better, the Star Trek sick bay comes closer to reality. Oh. Here's how. Here we have a laser beam that's incident on a piece of tissue. It's chicken? It is chicken. Okay. But for all purposes, chicken is not really that much different from human tissue, for okay. example. Okay, sure. As the beam travels through this labyrinth of cables and prisms, it becomes cool to the touch, but still goes through your body. So, so I, could, I could put my finger through there and I'm not hurt at all. No. The reason why it didn't hurt my hand is because the laser at that point isn't focused. It's not really that powerful. Furthermore, when you get inside the body, it gets even more crazy and chaotic. What they've discovered is if you take some ultrasonic waves and use some video playback technology, it brings the laser back to that focus point inside your body, and that's where you can do the surgery. The laser and the ultrasound will be interacting in my finger. Here's their digital camera. Here's their ultrasound speaker right above the chicken. Together, they direct the laser to cut something inside the body without hurting your skin. And you can see that the region of highest intensity is moving along. Now eventually, doctors could use the same kind of focus beam to scan your body with a much higher resolution than X-ray, CAT scan, or MRI, with far less radiation risk. And what that means is that uh, you can potentially start to look at uh, cancer formation in a much earlier stage. I've had surgery before and my mom's had surgery. Now the team's still years away from using this laser on mom. It's coming around, Jeff. But this giant leap could come long before people live in deep space. Name, rank. If the digital camera technology improves and the LCD technology improves, I think there is a really good chance that we will be able to start doing this in 10 years or in time to come. 10 years or less. At Caltech, Dave Malkoff, KTLA 5 News.